Hi, I'm Andy, and here's how to play my tongue twister game, The Three of Crubs. Thank you. You're going to need some small bits of paper or card. Post-its could work for this. A pen, or maybe four. A phone, and several upstanding members of society. Before you start, you'll need to find the word list at the end of this video and write them up on your paper or card. Deal one thank you card and one name card to each player. Then give the sets of word cards to the corresponding players and have them deal five cards face up to themselves. To win the game, you're going to need to build the longest, most difficult tongue twister you can whilst mastering reading other players' creations. To begin, each player must choose two of their five cards to be the start of their tongue twister. These cards should be placed in a line from their thank you card. Now it's time for the first round. Shuffle all the name cards together and hand them out to determine whose tongue twister you'll be reading. Hand the tongue twisters round and lay them out by your thank you cards. Now starting with the three of Crubs tongue twister and working up, take it in turns to have a go at reading. Starting with the thank you card, you must read all the cards from left to right and then back in reverse order, ending by thanking the room once more. So in this example, you would say, Thank you. Crass, lash, clash, lass, lass, clash, lash, crass, thank you. Get another player to set a timer for twice the number of seconds as cards in the tongue twister. So this tongue twister would need to be done in four seconds. It's the job of the player timing to start the timer when the reader says their first thank you. If a player successfully reads their tongue twister all the way down and back up again, thanking the room before the time runs out, they receive one point and can turn over one of the cards in their hand to mark this. However, if a player is unable to read the whole tongue twister before the time runs out, then the creator of that tongue twister earns one point and can turn a card in their hand to mark it. If you're reading your own tongue twister and run out of time, then you must give one of the cards from your tongue twister back to your pack. If a player incorrectly pronounces one of the words while reading, then any player can challenge by calling out, I beg your pardon. The challenging player has earned themselves a point and can turn over one of their cards. However, if the player being challenged disagrees, they may retort, I beg your pardon, sir. It's up to the rest of the room to decide who was right and give out a point either way. Once every player has attempted a reading, the tongue twisters are returned to their creators. Then, for every point you've earned that round, you may add one card from your hand to your tongue twister. Finally, all players are allowed to rearrange their tongue twister however they'd like to make it more difficult before giving their name card back in again to start the next round. The game ends when any player unsuccessfully reads a tongue twister of seven or more cards, either by running out of time or by being successfully challenged. The creator of that tongue twister is crowned the champion. Bravo. That's it. I hope you enjoy playing the Three of Crubs. Here are the word lists that you need. See you later.